First of all, cheers. Now for all of you veteran modders, you could probably go ahead and skip this video. However, for all of those of you who may be a little bit less favorable, like myself, this video is for you! Have you ever seen videos of other people who have modded their games and you just thought to yourself, God damn it, that is one beautiful son of a bitch, only to attempt to do it yourself for it to look something like this? Well, you're in luck! For I was at one point as feeble-minded as you, until I inched my knowledge just a little bit further, and now I'm willing to share that knowledge with you! Many begin their struggle after downloading just a few mods and try to apply it to their game. After the download is done, you get out your favorite mod loader and install the mods only to realize there's a load order. Or for the few of you who didn't know this, yes, there is an order that you must load the mods. What this means is that when your game launches, these mods are stacking on top of each other. Like a fine sandwich. However, similar to a sandwich, if you put the cheese first, then the burger, and then the bun, and then more cheese, that is not going to be a very appealing burger to try to hold. Similarly to the sandwich, your load order must have mods stacked on top of each other as each loads first. Typically things like bug fixes may come first, something that expands on the base game. And then you might have something like textures to the overhaul of the world, like the map, for instance. And then perhaps on top of that, you'll have uh, a mod that retextures your character. And then on top of that, you'll have mods that animate that said character. All of these have a proper load order. However, the point of this video is to make this all simpler. Uh, we are not talking about load order. You do not need to know about load order any further than that. If you don't have the time to load your game every time that you put in a new mod, that's okay. There is a solution to your laziness. Mod lists. Mod lists are exactly what they sound like. They're a list of mods that people have compiled and have tested them out, or should be functional. This means that rather than downloading mod by mod, one mod at a time, you can just download the whole mod list. These already put the mods in the right load order. That's right, bypassing all of the heebity jeebity that is load orders. In our case, as is my latest playthrough of Skyrim, go check that out by the way, we're going to be using Elder Gleam. Now this mod list is fantastic because it tries to stay true as true can be to vanilla Skyrim as possible while only improving graphical enhancements and therefore the reason why I desperately love this mod list. Really only three things that you need to do is one, download the mod list itself. Two, download Wabajack and this would be the downloader of all of the mods in that mod list that you downloaded. And finally three, which is not necessary, is to have Nexus Mods Premium, which I, I believe is $7. All that this allows for is for the whole process to be automated through Wabajack. You don't have to wait five seconds and download mod after mod at a time. As well as you do not have a download limit, you can download large files, uh, mods that are several gigabytes, very quickly rather than three megabytes at a time. So now after you've gone ahead and installed it, let's open up Wabajack, install from disk, and now we're going to choose our target mod list, which is going to be our Elder Gleam mod list. We want to find a mod list installation location, as you would like it to be somewhere out of your program files, as this will cause a possible problem with the mods loading due to certain restrictions with Windows and these particular folders. So instead, uh, my recommendation is under your local disk, whatever that may be, uh, you can simply just create two new folders one being the mod list, which in our case, I've named Elder Gleam so kindly, and then your resource download location, which in this case would be the mod list downloads. Again, you wanna keep both of these out of your program files directory, as there may be an issue loading these. Next, we would simply just click to download, and we will download all of these. 
Now, normally this is where you'll see all of your mods begin to download through Wabajack. However, in my case, it has failed because I've already had all of these downloaded. Now, once Wabajack is done and you've downloaded all of your mods and you have installation completed down here, you can simply close out Wabajack and open up your mod organizer. And it should begin to look something like this. Here we have master fixes, engine patches, main essentials, and you can see all of these now in a proper load order. And you can even expand these to see each individual mod in their proper load order. Now what this does is help us to be able to find our, our proper folder where maybe if we want to add a weapons mod, uh, then we can come here to 21.1 in our load order open this up and we know where we would want to slide in some of our weapons mods or clothing mods perhaps and once you're all done with your mod organizer you can simply just click run and your game will be prompted now this might take just a moment to load everything up please do not click unlock here just allow a little bit of time for the actual game to launch yeah that's it you have just downloaded perhaps over 2,000 mods to your game, and you didn't even have to worry about the load order. <sighs> uh, so very simple steps in comparison to uh, myself. I tried to mod Skyrim twice in my past with no avail, as I was taking in a mod at a time, and the load order was just not making full sense to me. Uh, so as, as I continued on, I just bugged out Skyrim and it would either crash, I'd have to go back in and try to figure out what the problem was, I could not figure out the load, and eventually I would just give up because of the load order and just play vanilla Skyrim. Well now, that is over. Thank you for staying tuned in the video for this long, I hope that you learned a thing or two, and I hope that you enjoy modding as I have, being able to see your favorite games through new eyes for the first time. Cheers. Have you ever seen other videos of people who have modded their games and thought to yourself, my god, that is one delicious, lustful looking body. I can play my game that came out at the turn of the century like that? What this means is that when your game launches, these mods stack finely on top of each other. Like a damn good sandwich.